Hello, I'm Tina. Welcome to my channel. Uh, here is another very useful okay and the uh, tag called the C4H, which is uh, to do the looping, and you will uh, use a lot when you wo work with the GSP. Really a lot. Okay, so. That means we, uh, it's better we understand everything about this tag, right? So here, oh my God, what I did. Okay. Here, uh, let me close. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, wait for a second. I, I forgot to do check, 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 check in. <laughs> when, see, I, sorry, sorry, sorry to waste your time, okay. Permit okay, so push. Okay, so here, do you still remember last time? Uh, when when I introduced GSTO, we showed a demo. Do you remember which is this form? Let me see in the browser here. Why do we need a GSTO? And we have this uh, table, right? And have to do a loop. When do a loop? We did something like this. Do you remember? Okay, so now C each can use to to solve the problem. Okay, C uh, uh, with the C for each. Now let me create another another GSP called the C for each. Okay. Uh, in the person servlet, what should I do? Uh, I will keep this one here because we can only forward to uh, one GSP in one servlet. I will create uh, another servlet called uh, C uh, for each servlet, okay? And I will just copy exactly the same code for each servlet, okay? And here extends HTTP. Servlet, I, I, because I want to keep the keep this uh, demo for you. If I change it here, the link they are gonna break. So I will keep this one. Uh, but uh, the code inside is actually exactly the same. Uh, what's the for each? Okay, and here I will copy exactly the same code to here, except the forward. Okay. Here forward, I will not forward to this GSP. I will forward to C for each. Hope you understand uh, my decision. Okay, C for each. And now what I'm, I will do is I will copy exactly from here, and then you know, control control A control C, and until here control remove this one. Okay, I will change it from here so you will know how after we use uh, uh, CH, it's easy, it's much easier compared with the scriptlets. Okay, and now let me add the tag. Okay, see call tag here. Okay, so first step we will do a test if everything works. Okay, li. Uh, a H I -E F for each, okay. C for each demo, okay. Now let's test if after I do everything works, then we will start changing user C for each. Okay, now let's go to our browser, go back, refresh. Here I have for each demo, and everything works, right? But uh, now here this this piece of code we have to change okay how to change first thing we don't use any scriptlets okay uh, this scriptlet we will replace use c for each okay for each has a variable this variable will represent each of the person in this uh, collection okay here i will use a person suppose and then uh, items items we will receive a collection of uh, a person 
And uh, when we use using your expression, it can retrieve uh, the collection from request scope, page scope, session scope, and application scope. And uh, in my request scope, okay, request scope, I have a uh, people. And it's a collection of a uh, person. So here, I will just use uh, people. Okay, you, so you don't need to do this step anymore. Okay, and now done. So we get rid of this piece. Okay, we get rid of this piece, which is the opening tag, closing tag. The opening tag is c 4 h The closing tag is this one now. Okay, got it. And since uh, we are using uh, the the ER expression in order to access each person, you cannot use uh, GSP expression. Instead, we will use what ER expression. And uh, what it is person dot first name okay this person will represent each of the uh, person object in this collection okay same thing for this one you can also using a uh, uc out okay here I don't want to write a lot okay okay and for the if else condition what you gonna do if else okay we were using C if test okay if person dot address okay equals now okay what we will do is no address okay like this and uh, oh here we can uh, uh, we can do like this way okay and if not see if test okay and like this one a uh, person dot address not equals now okay and we will do this one and now we will get rid of this piece and we can get rid of this piece Okay, but here we have to display a uh, street and city and all the things, right? We cannot use uh, uh, expression, GSP expression. Instead, we will use what? We will use, okay, use your expression, person dot address dot what? Dot street. I forgot what we have, okay. Uh, street, city, and state. And then same thing, we will have uh, person dot address dot what's the uh, city and the state person sorry 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 hmm. dot address dot uh, state okay now we change our uh, this piece of code now use uh, your uh, GSTL, okay. Now let's test if everything works, okay. We will redeploy. Okay. Okay, deploy successfully. Go to our browser. We go here, refresh. Click c 4 h Everything displayed successfully, right? Okay. Now, but we compare, compare the uh, compare this piece of a code. Compare this piece of a code. Use scriptlet and compare the GSTL. Much simpler, and also the reason why we use GSTL is uh, first reason is uh, in inside this uh, inside this GSP. Uh, the designer doesn't uh, know Java code, and uh, when we use GSTL, they are kind of like HTML like, right? Look like HTML. It has opening tag, cover closing tag, and uh, we have lots of the scriptlet code here. And here we use GSTL, and GSTL can be reused. Suppose we do a loop here, the for each is being reused, right? But uh, for this for loop, can you reuse it? You cannot okay and it's not easy for reading and it's not easy for debug and it's not uh, it, we cannot reuse and which will increase your uh, maintenance right 
but uh, see when we use gestio the code is much simpler and clear okay and we can reuse the tags okay so that's a c for each but i want to show you more about c for each okay uh, here have something this part probably is not a best case to use what to use uh, uh, C if this one, it's better to change to use what C choose because it's kind of like a if else condition. We can use the C choose to instead, okay? But uh, it, it works, okay? With it's not a lot uh, if else condition. Uh, and uh, test, okay? Test. We will add this one. Okay, then we will have no address. And here we will add C, otherwise, okay. And here we will display this one. Oh, sorry, from here to here. And it is will still work. It's better to suitable use this case, right? What do you think? Anyway, both of the way works, okay. You can choose either one you like. And now let's refresh. Here, we'll go back, refresh still work okay and another thing is uh, suppose we want to have an index like here in the table I want to have a one two three the index you can also achieve here uh, th uh, index okay and here see for each has something called a var status okay and this status will have like a uh, dot first, dot last, dot count, dot index you can use to display, okay? And you can use a number to do some tasks you want to do. Let me show you the difference between uh, status, dot, count. This is one property, okay? There's another one called uh, status, dot, index, okay? This count will start with one. This index will start with zero. That's the difference between them. Okay. Now let me show you. Okay. Now uh, go and refresh. See here. This is a count start with one. Uh, index will start with zero. Okay. You can use based on what you want. Okay. Uh, here I just list both of them. It also have other attribute like a step. By default, step is one, which means it write one, two, three, four. If a step is two, it's like a one, three, two, four, something like that. Okay, let's uh, test. But I never use this one. And talks about the iteration. The what's the? Okay, let's take a look at it. It's gonna look like what? Only have two because it's one. Three, four, uh, four, one, three, five, like this way, okay. Or from there, zero, two, four, something like that. So it, uh, one step is missed, okay. You can, one is gonna be iterated one by one. It's like when you have a four int, uh, four int i equals zero, then i less than something, and i plus plus. Now it's not i plus plus, it's i plus, uh, i equals uh, i plus two, something like that, okay. This is one, okay, now, now it's three, okay. So step, I, this one I never used. There's another case I wanna show you. You can have, let me, here, let me have a P, oh, sorry, sorry, H1. H1 have a person list, okay. Now I have another C for, C for each, for testing purpose. It also have a something called a, a var, equals i okay begin equals one and equals eight okay so here you can display i mm, display i okay it also have a begin and end it's kind of like a four you do a four and you are doing something for like this way you are doing something for int i equals zero uh, i less than eight i i plus plus like this way this one to do and uh, for this for each the one this one is more like a four of like a four uh, person a p person p uh, column 
and a collection okay let me remove this one and uh, I also never used this one mm -mm. Uh, I always use this one to actually grab something from each uh, one of the scope then I will iterate display on the page Okay, you have one, two, three, four, eight. Okay, so this is uh, uh, begin and end. If you need, just use it. Okay, uh, that's all for C for each. I explained all the attributes, and uh, the most one you will use is uh, these three var, which represent each element in this uh, collection, and item, it will represent a collection. You can use e expression to grab from one of the scope, okay? Var status is when you want display index, or you want to do some style based on the even or not even, okay? Um, that's it for this video. And uh, if you have other questions, you can make a comment. I will try my best to answer you. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching this, my, this video. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.